Hi you guys, it's Stephanie with Coffee Paper Scissors. Welcome to my channel. I decided to start on the next journal and I'm going to be using the Cara Brandon Creations Field and Forest. Um, that's her Etsy channel or Etsy shop name. And it's a 19 page digital kit. It's beautiful. I ran through it um, in another video. Today, I'm going to be working on trying <laughs> to make something to go on the back side of these tags. So these tags come in the kit. And I just printed them, you know, here. You could run them back through with one of the background papers. But I was thinking um, that I might try and make something that I can put on the back side. So I have some paper covering my desk and then I have this thing here. It is, I've never used it before. It is, where did the box go? Oh, here it is. It's a uh, non-stick craft sheet. And, um, it says you can do embossing on it, stamping, melting, and painting, and ironing. I don't know about that, but it says you can. Anyway, I'm going to be using some paint, and I thought I would give it a try. Okay, let me get out a card. So I saw a long time ago, like a year ago maybe, I was watching Andrea, um, Artie Mays, and she was using acrylic paints and a card to to put it on there and i have you know done it in a, a different project i just haven't done it in a long time and i haven't practiced today so huh, we'll see i'm gonna make sure you guys are in a good spot okay and that i started it i did so yeah i don't know let's just see what happens And I should have gotten a couple more um, paper plates, but but that's okay because I'll just like use it all up and it'll be fairly dry. Okay, messy fingers, but look, I have wipes. I'm just gonna sit that off to the side. Okay, I coffee stain this. I just put some instant coffee in a cup and um, I brushed it on with a paintbrush and that was good enough for me. So she just kind of scraped it across. Oh, the cat. And this might be darker than I had anticipated, but that's okay. I can put other things on top to lighten it up. It seems really thin, this, this, um, paint. And I, you guys, this is another one of those you may never see. I did a, a, a video recently that you guys aren't going to see. <laughs> so it could be another one of those. We shall find out. All right. So I don't like that color. So I'm just going to move that out of the way so I don't use it again. It's a nice chunk of paint. I have a wood table uh, desk and I really would rather not get all of this paint on my desk. So hopefully I don't. I probably should have spread my white paper out farther. It's folded in half. Oh, messy. Messy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty dark. I don't know. Because I'm thinking, you know, I want to be able to have it so that somebody can write on it. So, hmm. Okay, so we're just going to do background with a little bit of these. 
we'll see what, what it ends up being. You never know unless you try, right? I will say that, okay, it was a long time ago, but I remember watching Andrea do it and it didn't look like this. <laughs> That's okay. Let me grab a lighter color of paint. Hmm, I'm gonna do it up here. It dries pretty quickly, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm just not liking how it's going on. It's not going on like like hers did. I, I'm assuming she was just using regular old acrylic paint. But I'm thinking, could somebody actually write on that? I don't know. So I'm just gonna kinda go back over almost the whole thing. Kind of, I don't know, a waste. Maybe it's a don't do this. You know, I watch Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah try these kinds of things all the time. And in the end, it turns out fine. She just keeps going with it. I don't know if I'm brave enough. And then I feel like, what was the point of coffee staining it in the first place? If I'm just doing this. Boy, that's... Nasty looking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I did bring over some green too. It's thicker. I'm going to open the door and let the cat in. dark. It just looks like um, camo. Okay, so spreading it out like that helps. Sure, Stephanie, try it. <laughs> try it with people watching. I think that's a great idea. I don't know. Okay. Do you imagine like a small section of it? What do you think? 
because it's, you know, I'm making a whole sheet, but that's not what's going to be um, on the back. Oops, that's drying. That's not good. You wouldn't be seeing the whole sheet. But I also want it so that you can write on it. I don't know. I wonder what would happen if you just over the top. Because isn't it really thin? Or would it just be pointless? I don't know. I really don't know. Well, that's ugly. Maybe I should have just coffee stained it and put coffee stained paper on the back. And it could be what I end up doing. Let me grab another brush. And then we'll just try and do a little bit of dry brushing. See what happens with that. I don't know that I like that credit card technique. <laughs> technique. <laughs> right. some of those darker browns. Okay, now let me try and get in some sweeps of green. Yeah, I mean, it's better. <laughs> I like that. Really? That's better? Uh, it's not staying white, it's blending. Interesting. I don't know, but if you imagine a small section. Okay, I don't know. Let me stick that in the water. Um, I was thinking... Okay. I have a couple of things I want to try. I'm just going to move this off to the side for a second. And like my underneath paper... A friend used to do that stuff for a living. I'm going to stick a piece of paper in here. And I have a spray. This is eucalyptus walnut ink and tinking solution. Archival acids free. I found it at a yard sale. So that's the information on it. Shake well. I've already sprayed it once to see what color it was. So I'm just going to I wanted to have it like have a couple of splotches. Okay. And then I was thinking this I don't have one of those um, brushes that can you can flick stuff, and so I was thinking about just doing it with my finger. <laughs> Make it work. I 
and go in different directions because your fling makes it splatter in a certain way. Oh, Stephanie, what are you doing? Seriously, Tina is Chevy Dabby Duda. She needs to watch this video because <laughs> she's always making a mess. <laughs> and it turns out good. And I'm not saying mine's going to turn out good, but she's always like, you know, can you believe how messy I am and all that kind of thing. Okay, I'm going to move that one out of the way. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one and see if it makes it look any better. I really doubt it because you guys, this is... This is rough. That's <laughs> just ugly. Okay, hold on. Let me, I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to do dry brushing on top of this. I hope you guys stay to see what it, it turns out like, honestly, because you never know, right? You just never know. It's kind of wet. Oh, I had it in water. Okay. I need more, I'm gonna do this color. don't like those really dark patches. But I like the green. I just don't like it really dark. So now I'm pretty much painting the whole back side of this and that's not what my intention was. I don't know. It looks like camo. I like the other one better. Hmm. Dries really fast though. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way again and put the box over here. Yeah, now the cat's looking at the door saying, let me out. Let me out. Okay, do a couple sprays of this. So let's do some white splatter again. Where did I put my, there it is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you guys, messy, messy, messy. But like I said, you never know. <laughs> you never know. I, um, I've been wanting to get one of those brushes where you flick them, you know, those little fan brushes, I guess. And not flick them, but you just like tap them. Um, but then I just, I don't think about it until, until I want it, you know? Okay.
get this off my fingers. I don't know. It, it might be fine. I think that to write on the back of a tag with that on there, you might have to um, use a marker, but okay. I'm, I'm going to use my heat tool, so be prepared. see what it turns out looking like. How about that? Um, put one up there. And I'm going to sit this back up here so that the background's not white. I don't know. Maybe that's kind of annoying to have a, a white background. Okay. So, okay, so really pretty. I'm going to move this just a little bit so I can stay out of the paint as much as possible. Um, I think I'm going to have to, let's see, it would be quicker to use my cutter. I just don't want to get my cutter in my paint. It's dry right here, I think. Let's see if I can do it this way. It's not the right direction for me. Um, okay. So I, I don't do these kinds of videos where I play and um, so that can make, I mean, it's interesting, I think, to watch people do these kinds of things, but they're better at doing things like um, editing. And so I haven't done these kinds of things because I'm afraid to try on video and have you guys just be like, okay, I'm done. So I really hope that you stick around and you find out what it looks like with me and hopefully you're not too awfully bored. Okay, let's cut those. Well, okay, this one's, I think it's dry. And so I think what I'm gonna do Okay, I'm going to cut just this edge here. And then see if I can line it up and give myself a mark. Oh, 
Hopefully that's good. And then I think there's kind of too much. I don't know. This is going to give me a workout. I'm all over the place. Okay, and I'm just going to glue it on and I'm going to see how it looks. And if it's horrible, I can always reprint these. It's not that big of a deal. I'm using um, Aline's Quick Dry Techie Glue. Uh, the I'm not really good at lining things up and having it be right where I want it. So if I use the Art Glitter Glue, it would get stuck down where I don't want it to stay. And so I think it's better to use one that you can move around a little bit. And then I will have to do some trimming. I was thinking about using <laughs> the cats at the door. She's like, wait, the door's closed again. I, well, I close it because, you know, my family's in the house. So I'm trying not to disturb them and make them have to be quiet. Okay. Let me grab some ink. I have... It's actually just, you know, like stamping ink. I don't know what color it is. Hmm. So there's that one. I was thinking I had some really, really olive -y color, but Um, a Stampin' Up pad. Yeah, I don't know. Can you use the the ink thingies with these? I don't know. I I, know. I haven't used those very often. Let me grab. I thought I was prepared. I really did. I'm just going to get out a clean thing and see. I don't know if these things work like that, you know? I just don't know. pretty bright. It's really bright. Let's close that. maybe to go over again with walnut 
that stain. I need to re-ink my walnut stain. It looks better with the two, you know, two colors. I mean, it's a lot of work, but it looks pretty good, I think. I'm wondering, I'm wondering about when people do like those little, you know, they do like those little marks, you know, on the side because it's drying so I don't know if I've got enough paint to do it where would I want it like that I don't know well I mean it's okay I think it'd be better if I stitched around it. There's already stitching on the front side, but I could stitch it again. I think. But I'm not going to do that on camera with you. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to show you guys this video. How much time is there? Um... Probably not. I'll probably sit here and make them look decent and then show you what I did. Ah, that's probably what I'm going to do. All right, you guys. Hope you have a good day and maybe you'll see this. <laughs> Bye.